What a great day. Let's go fishing on the west side of the village. All right. That is a ordinary wolf. Is what that is. This is the mana cost of the card. This is your mana pool. This is your brain on eggs. Every turn you can get three. The mana limit is four. Go over and the first mana gain vanishes. At turn's end, all hands are automatically discarded. Let's try a new strike. We did it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's, that's cool. Nice little animations to go along with your uh, card play. Enemies intentions. Enemy intent. Enemies next turn plans displayed here. Resolve from top to bottom. Plan wisely in response to the enemy's intentions. Well, we're going to double block and we're going to attack. Seems like we hold on to the excess block, maybe? Or no, that, no, that went away. Never mind. Double block. did it. We beat an ordinary wolf. Choose between one new card. I will choose it. Heal 12 HP, draw two cards. Fragile. Remove the card from the game after it's used. Come live with me and be my love, and we will some new pleasures prove of golden sands and crystal brooks with silken lines and silver hooks. Belly strike. Damn. Giving us the belly strike, eh? Thick skin. Reduce damage taken by three. What? Watch out. This piggy... This piggy has a special ability. Thick skin. Oh, he's thick. Thick skin cuts piggy's damage by three, so regular strike cards can't harm it. Try to use a more powerful card against it. Oh, thanks. Mana with color. This card is effective, but requires mana to use. Mana comes from any blue card. Draw a card with the ma to the mana pool to exchange it for mana. Here, both strike and one-time crossbow can be exchanged for water. cool animation. I think that's pretty nice. And we're gonna get hit with this belly strike, though. Ow!
Yeah, I really like those animations. Really, uh, really solid sound design in general. The music is, uh, there. A strange girl. I met a girl. Swords and shields are so boring. Try these goodies. Okay. Chaos strike. Crossroad and dice bonus. Check 10. Deal 8 damage. Failed. Gain 6 block. Dice bonus. Gain 4 luck. Okay. The girl left. What the hell is all this? Yeah, what is all this? Multicolor mana cost. Swirls or mana can be used to play this card. Yeah. If you have swirls and mana, mana is saved first using colored mana first. What is all this? Gain four luck. Rolling a dice. When rolling dice, roll an extra dice and take the highest result. Then lose one luck for every six luck. One, roll one more extra dice. Oh, that's that and that. I'm sorry. This is this or this. actually lower on health to play this other card, this fishing one. That's that and that. Yeah, okay. Get him. Dang. Get wrecked. How close are we to the Lawn Wang Simulator stream? You can see it if you scroll down. Got him. What do we got? A fishing wish. More fishing wishes. That's a big pig. 12 damage. Things just got complicated. Why is this piggy so strong? You won't be able to handle it like this. What the? Here's something good for you. What the? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You can use dice to change any number you see on the screen. The change is permanent until you die. Okay. All right. Try playing with this deck. Oh, oh. Oh. Permanently change the target number to blank.
Oh! I didn't check all of his numbers, chat. We'll have it. Okay, hold on. I understand. This game is really weird, but cool. Okay. can change what else can we change what is this it's our money or something I can change my mana that's just four now yeah okay Do two damage now. Okay, go ahead. I need to draw that bomb again. There we go. All right, got him. Let's go fishing. I almost completely screwed myself because I didn't like take the time to read the card. Uh, the end of the beginning. I just saw something purple in the distance, and it feels like it's getting closer and closer. It feels wrong. That's not good. Time to go home. Oh, okay. Purple mist. The power to change numbers comes with a cost. Purple mist will chase you throughout your journey. Whenever you move forward, it will also chase you a small step forward. Getting caught by the mist means danger. If the mist covers the full map, you fail instantly. Purple fog keeps spreading. In the haze, I seem to see things not of this world. This world is broken. <laughs> this world is broken. <laughs> the girl appears beside me. Because you use that dice card to change the numbers in this world. It's quite useful, right? Otherwise, you would have been beaten by the piggy boss. Who are you? I'm a god. Only a god can do such incredible things. I came to save you. If you stay here... You'll be swallowed by these purple strange things, she says with a smile, even though it's a frightening thing. Escape this world with me. Okay. Eh? Ah! What? Welcome to my home. This is the middle realm, the junction between parallel worlds. The girl, the one who gave me the dice. The world we just left is no more, but... I can take you to countless almost identical worlds. However, no matter where you go, you'll have a purple mist chasing after you. Uh-oh. If you can run all the way to the center of the royal city, I'll send you to a world where you'll have time to leisurely fish. Good luck. Don't forget to bring the dice, or you won't last an hour. Okay, great. Good to know. <laughs> It's unclear to me if the pencil drawing god girl is the same as the dice girl. Yeah, I I think they might be the same, but... Upgrade. You can use dice in the loot screen. Wow. Bigger dice. You can upgrade your dice in the shop. Upgrade dice will be bigger. You can and must use purple orb when selecting the start deck.
Your class and your start deck will be generated based on the mana orbs that you've chosen. You will gradually unlock other orbs along the journey. For now, drag and drop the blue into the center. After deciding your class, you will receive some starting relics. Relics are useful, so be sure to check it. Activated relics, such as the one dice, need a click to trigger its effects. Remember to use them. I am never going to use these. <laughs> I'm so bad at remembering these types of things. Require charge 2. Press to activate. Permanently change the target number to dice. When the time passes, change charge for this relic. Charge count can exceed the charge requirement and accumulate. Time passes when you pass through a map location. As time passes, the purple mist moves a step closer. If any number of a card is changed permanently, that card gains the distorted keyword. When an enemy's health bar is broken, draw two cards, gain two block. Do I not drag this in here? It's just in there. Ah, the familiar scenery. Let's go a bit further and see. All right, let's do it. Burb. It's a blurb. Gain dice block. Deal dice damage. with the 411 Yeah, we can't do anything else. Okay. Take the one. Oh, we had a did we start with an armor or something? Permanently change the target number to blah. Stop looking and use the dice. Oh, okay. I don't think I'm gonna use the dice. What's the, uh, what kind of a command would you like? Uh, manager pool? What about manager pool, Logical Wolf? Gain two golds or choose between three new cards. Uh, add three tack execute to the draw pile. Deal five damage, apply five distract. Temporary fragile. Long view, gain three block. Uh, gain two fortified, which is at the start of your turn. Gain two block and then lose half of the fortified. And kick three. When casting, you can discard up to three cards. For each card discarded, duplicate this card. Okay. Discover a modified card. Pick a card from two cards that fits the requirement. Like mana pool and dice, would that work? I mean, I could try to modify my mana pool, but I have to select the mana pool. 
before I know what the roll is. So what if I roll a one and I permanently change my mana to one or something weird like that? Like, I don't know. Bad luck. When rolling dice, roll an extra dice and take the lowest result. seems very strong. I'm not sure what command I would like. Twitch gave me a pop-up and I hit the redeem button without realizing what I was doing. Yeah, I mean, I can also, if you don't actually want to spend your points, I can return your points or feel free to take as long as you want. It doesn't, no big deal with me. I think I will do it, just let me think about it. Yeah, no problem, of course. Hmm. You can go horizontally too, but the, the, the gas is on us though. That's a goose. Focus reactive steel card. After you cast any card, discard one card from your hand. Uh, deal 2d4 damage. Okay. phases end, discard one card from your hand. <laughs> your goose is cooked. I thought I had like cards to do purple, but uh, I, mean, I have the, the the block ones for X amount of dice or whatever. But get wrecked. I could try to put his health down. Is this gone from the deck forever after we play it or? still in there. Okay, choose between four new cards. Chaotic Transform. Discover a modifier card. Select up to one card from the discard pile and return it to hand. Discover a junk card. 
three, exert. Deal seven damage, apply three, weak, loaded ammo three. After casting, reduce loaded ammo, one loaded ammo. When it reaches zero, you will need to reload the card. Okay. The blunderbuss reloaded. 24 damage to all enemies gives all enemies six vulnerable. Reload three. Okay. Neg uh, negation. Destroy target intention. Ex exert limited. Also seems cool. Little counter spell card there. That's some neat ideas. It's interesting being able to target uh, specific intentions. Like, uh, yeah, there's some interesting ideas here with being able to modify all kinds of stuff that, uh, you know, would normally never be modifiable. Um, Upon drawing this card, draw one more. Interesting. Let's do that. Those little bush warriors. Look at those little guys. All allies gain a D4 block, and then they are each dealing five damage. Billy already did Dice Mancer. No, I've never played Dice Mancer before today. from this apparently. It's unfortunate. it up and pass it. Can we do this? Yeah, we can turn this into blue. Never mind. I just didn't know how. Okay, 
right, this way we keep an energy. We block his full attack. Got there, no problem. Wasn't even close. Add three tack executes into the draw pile. Deal five damage, apply five distract. Temporary fragile. Three block and gain two fortified with kick. Memorandum, choose, draw three cards or add two blue. After casting, reduce one remain. Exert the card when it reaches zero. Restore after rest. Okay. Overwhelming Splendor. Rainbow 4. Deal 40 damage to all enemies. After cast, if the number of different mana colors in your mana pool reaches that required value, trigger the following effect. Void is not a color. Okay. Interesting. Select up to one card from the discard pile and return it to hand. Draw four cards. Put at least two of them in hand from the top of the draw pile. Exert limited. Sleight of hand. Discover a magical dice card. Exert. Defensive tactic, gain three block when playing a blue monocolor card. Take cover, gain nine block, miracle gain nine evasion. If this card isn't drawn at the turn's draw card phase, trigger this effect while it's casting. Okay, while, uh, when, uh, when casting, okay. Evasion is uh, when being attacked, check 20. Add evasion nine to the final result. If succeeded, the attack misses. This half, uh, regardless of whether successful or not. Why does she look so wildly over enthusiastic? I don't know. She's just excited. When an enemy's health bar is broken, apply 8 Distract to a random enemy. Empty Battery. When the battle starts, increase mana capacity by D4. Require Bucket Metal. Require Charge 7. Press to activate. Gain 8 Block. Gain 4 Temporary Power. Gain 2 Tough. When an enemy's health bar is broken, charge this Relic. Yeah, this is really good so far. I think we can get rid of a card here, presumably. Let's see what this question mark is, though. Big sale. Strode by a store today. They had a big sale banner waving outside. One of the staff was yelling, You'll oh God if you don't buy! The lively vibe almost convinced me I'd be losing out if I didn't grab something. Small bargain. Sales on. Time to buy more stuff. I can save 100% by not buying anything. Apply 16 Butter Hand. And when attacking, check 16. If it fails, damage is half. Lose half at the end of turn. Okay. Okay. 
Gain nine block, miracle gain nine evasion. Deal seven damage, repeat this once for each card with temporary in your hand. Deal 10 damage, miracle, deal 12 damage. Anything to draw cards right now, but who knows what future us might get? Is this is a card removal, I assume. Yeah. Oh my God! Look at that. It's a Minotaur. He's got like a six pack and a loincloth. Still 10 damage. Uh, after you cast three cards, still 10 damage, okay. Steal luck, gain three luck, apply three bad luck, exert temporary. Apply five bad luck, temporary. He is menacingly bobbing, yeah. Temporarily increase the target number by blank. Was the third card right because playing it generated a card that I'm yeah so it was two separate cards well here you go have some damage that's for you draw three cards or add blue blue Taken his half, round it down, and lose one every time you're attacked. We're gonna cancel his intent with my negation ability. Oh, it fucked up my blue shit, though. You cast one deal 14 damage okay we need to do this 
and discard everything. What? It doesn't. I. It's a whole thing. Ah, oh, he can't. Uh, he gets to do his ability before it finishes, and they all count as separate. Ugh, that's brutal. need a big block card. I guess I need to just play this. Yeah, right. It'll keep me alive. Wait, why did I, oh, I had all that block from the previous ability that I used, probably. Okay. Probably. Oh, that's right. We have the fortified. Okay. No, they don't count as separate. It's just that the other ones don't proc until after. Okay, yeah, that's brutal. Got him though. All right, that guy was tough though. Discover a modifier card. Discover a card from another a realm, or apply three random debuffs to a random enemy. Gotta hit him with the old razzle dazzle. Very important. I've only got five bucks. A revolver. Deal uh, D20 damage to a random target. If there is remaining ammo, check eight. If successful, repeat once. Loaded ammo six. Interesting. Remove temporary keyword from target card. Fragile. Remove the card from the game after use. Okay. Tangled Enigma. Gain D4 Concentration, which is at the start of turn, draw four cards. Add two Fascinated to the draw pile. Fascinated is draw D6 cards. If left in hand at turn's end, lose two HP. It's a fire type card. Gain that much block, and then Phantom. After casting this card, adds a one-time copy of it into your hand and reduce the required mana of the copy card by one. Add a one-time copy of it to your hand and reduce the required mana of the copy card by one. What? Uh, these are like artifacts things, but I don't have enough money for them. When the battle starts, draw one card and add energy. When the battle starts, increase mana capacity. 
Uh, press to activate, gain four haste. Oh yeah, I have this like ready to activate all the time. Can I can I do this out of combat? No. Yeah, see see what I say? I always forget these things. Do five damage, five five distract. Some double goose. damage, deal 10 damage, Miracle deal 12 damage, Oscillation, Hysteresis, gain that much block, exert temporary, deal D8 damage to a random enemy, exert temporary. Honk. Great. take any damage barely damn it stop making me discard cards and take damage if you cast a card discard one card from your hand brutal discover magical dice card uh, let's see apply two dice cheat the next dice result will be the minimum value Multicolor cards will convert into mana. Will randomly give you a corresponding color. Okay. It's not great, chat. I think we're looking pretty dead. Super late stream. Every uh, every stream this week has been. 12 hours. What's up, Zealous? How are you doing today? Add blank damage to a random enemy. Blank limited temporary.
Can't do that. Can't, uh, yeah, shoot. Uh, let's see. can't play any of these cards. I could change the their dice values maybe, but like I could try to like roll or maybe I could try to roll my block be higher. Or I could maybe uh, try modifying this. Okay. Okay, that's much nicer. Okay, I'm, oh shoot, I should target myself with that. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, okay, definitely like a lot more that we can be doing with stuff like that. But yeah, this game seems really good. I've been playing it for far too long already compared to the amount of time I put into a lot of other games. But uh, very interesting. Not quite goosed, not quite. <laughs> I fucking rolled off the screen there for a second. I've got all, I've got blue, green, red. I guess that works because it makes both of his rolls minimum, but still. Dude, I am playing games with people and getting the same shit I get from here. What is this? What, what do you mean? Are people trash talking Foster? You leave that Foster alone. This dude's, uh, oh, he's gonna min roll though. I guess that's fine. All right, barely. Deal that damage, gain luck. Add junk cards to your hand. Select up to one card from the discard pile and return it to hand. Buy 16 butter hand. Butter hand. Butter hand. If he keeps going, my name's Falzar. That's just how you sound. That's just how he is. He can't help it. Leave him alone. Stop it. Alright, uh, I've, I've like, I would love to spend a ridiculous amount of time playing this, but uh, if I don't end now, then I uh, will not end up getting the amount of sleep that I need, because we've already been going for 12 hours. So. Dysomancer seems really great. Definitely uh, really awesome. Oh, 
goodness. Let's get a little summary here for Dicemancer. Uh, let's see. Uh, deck builder strategy. Uh, interesting hand drawn art style. Unique um, num number number I can spell I uh, unique number modifying cards can literally modify nearly every number on the screen um complex fun worth checking out at least a four that's it's very very cool uh maybe maybe could be a five definitely gonna play that again on stream and i definitely recommend checking it out it's definitely a must play if you're into deck builders at all without a doubt